it guys so nice lovely morning here at Mpami conditions are lovely I see uh, Cameron took a crew out today a bunch of folks hired the boat out so I was watching him surf launch quite uh, tricky in this area so what he does is he brings the boat down drops it sort of halfway in that surf zone in the shallow and then he punches through and gets over the back so it uh, looks like he's obviously done it for so long so he's uh, quite knowledgeable there and quite sharp so guys we we're gonna head around the corner of this headland and uh, there's some nice rocky outcrops yesterday i spoke to some guys they saw a lot of cracker in the water and uh, lots of bronze green so once again we're just targeting edible fish uh, we're gonna look for a bronze green and a cracker we will get other smaller black tails and stuff around so yeah we're gonna do a quick three four hour session and then later on we move up south of the coast we're gonna go and look for some cob into the night so uh, let's hope today is more productive than yesterday it wasn't it wasn't a great day yesterday so yeah i'm excited though still still early days so i'm sure we'll get we'll get some fish okay guys so we are with one of the locals and as you can see the preferred choice of bait is natural red bait so tell us what fish you catch with the bait black tail and uh and rock cod yeah and uh the bream and uh the bream yeah bronze bream yeah. okay so guys as you can see obviously in these areas bait's hard to come by and the locals use exactly what the fish is feeding and, uh, and moon fish moon fish as well mm -hmm. okay so nice fresh red bait we'll check on that side off the rocks if we can find a couple of small pieces of red bait in the carcass and we'll try and use it maybe that will make us a little bit more successful fish for a cracker and uh, got a five ounce bell sinker I've got 0.65 fluorocarbon and a 50 hoodlum so obviously a thick thick nice smaller thick gauge hook for the cracker because they got strong jaws and uh, they tend to sometimes crush your hook flat if you don't have a strong enough hook so something that size is perfect crab that we found off the rocks. I'm gonna use this one for bait. Let's break off that. And I'm gonna Looks nice and proud. I'm just gonna put a toothpick in there. And that's how it's gonna sit. Okay, once I put the toothpick in, obviously it's gonna stay. Um, Cream chase. And we're gonna go look for a bronze cream now. I've got a bait out for the cracker there. And then we'll scratch around here looking for a bream. So you've got a you've got a bank breaking at the back, you've got a nice oxygenated water, and uh, you've got a lot of reefs in the water, so there's a ledge and there's a gutter there. And obviously there's, and there's rocks in that gutter. 
What's happening is the fish are patrolling that gut there and feeding along the edge of that reef there. So it looks like a very nice area to catch a cracker. So, and reef. So, yeah, let's go try. Nice bream on there, it just came out on the rocks in the front here. Yo, no man. That's not how it goes. So, let's go put another bait quickly. Okay, so the bite came on cracker. So I'm just gonna add some cracker to the bottom bait as well. Nice trademark bronze bream bite. I saw it in a wave. Looked like a two, three kilo fish. Not a bad size. It's actually the size we're looking for. So Bring take two. Here we got a blue fish, also known as a uh, bronze brim. Uh, you catch them along the rocks here, prawn, chocker, as you can see some red bait, we got this one on. Uh, they like the white baits, fishing the working water here. And uh, yeah, a small hook, like a 2 -oh hook. Yeah, they give a good pull on light tackle, they're good fun. So yeah, we'll get this one back in the water. Thanks. Fish tail, it was even four minutes and I had a nice, nice pickup. Sure. So we just moved, moved a little bit down to a different spot and uh, I got one of the local ghillies with me and it just goes to show how local knowledge works uh, and it's obviously you got to rely on it as well and trust it but uh, I had my first throw here for a bream and that's the result a nice decent sized bronze bream not too bad exactly what we came for there you go Absolutely stunning. Lovely. So guys, one target species ticked off here in, in Palmy. We're going to just put this one in a rock pool. We don't want to chase all of them away and we're going to see if we can get a couple more. Alright, let go. Okay guys, so that's the end of our morning session. Wasn't great, we got a few bream. Uh, that was the plan. Uh, no cracker. Uh, once again, Versagen did manage to shoot a cracker. There was a shoal that came past. I fished the whole morning for a cracker. I still got a rod out for a cracker and no bite, eh? So, Northeast has picked up quite a bit now. So we're gonna head back for some lunch. And then we're gonna head out a bit later and look for that elusive cop. Alright, let's go put it. Okay, we're gonna just quickly release this one. Oh, 
All right, let's go put it back. All right, see you guys a little bit later.